Well, good evening. Uh, today is Thursday, July 11th at 6 p.m. And we will now call to order the Planning Commission meeting for the Village of Somerset. Um, present in the hall is myself, Chris Dubak. Ken Lehman. Dan Vanoss. Jessica Blair. And online. Mike Kapper is joining by Zoom. So we have a public comment on agenda items. I'm sorry. So now we have one moment. I'm sorry, I just called called the meeting to order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and thus we also have Lynn Belter and Dave Palmer. All right. Why don't we go ahead and open it up to public comment on agenda items? Two minutes per person and 14 minutes per time. Any comments on life? I don't see anyone. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and close public comment and we will take a look at the minutes of May 2nd, 2024. like to make a motion to approve the minutes from May 2nd, 2024. All second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 And opposed? Okay. Now we'll go ahead and take a look at new business. Discussion, possible recommendation, site plan, Main Street, Peterson Law. Extensive plans. It looks like yeah. everything's very good. Solid. I can say that uh, from when I reviewed all the plans at home, uh, it's a good-looking project, and uh, I think the layout, parking situation is good, and uh, I'm really much for it. The only change to the site plan, which really doesn't have any. The, uh, any bearing on on the site itself is just we're stripping the water and sewer from out of the parking lot and then it's going to go directly through the building um that the proposed location um has it going through the parking lot between uh the proposed building and sportsman's and the rest there is potential freezing so we just want to move it out of that that they'll never see some um so we'll just move it over it'll be a straight shaft we'll eliminate those 45 degree bends so it'll it'll be a, actually a better design so they don't have to worry about that um, get the ball crazy so that's the only thing that we had comments on and i spoke to al about that and we'll just work that out with the contractor rachel just mentioned that probably i'm gonna be yep a couple a foot or a foot of foot Yep. Yep. We'll still have two percent and a three percent on the for the for the water to go to Shem. So and then there's barrier curb all all around that parking lot, so it's not going to impact the uh, adjoining property. So yeah, an easy review. Yep. Congratulations. Yep. Yes. Excited. I'll make a motion to recommend approval of the site plan on Main Street for the Peterson lot. Oh, no, second. Okay, so we have Lane Belter with the first and Dave Bowman with the second. Any other further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Well, congratulations, guys. We're super excited. Thank you for all your hard work. Mm -hmm. 
Wednesday. Any idea when you break ground? That will be discussed next Thursday. I'll go to the first show. Uh, Gotta be gold. <laughs> business what kind of business? Uh, coffee shop and bakery. Then there'll be two apartments, one office space, and two other commercial spaces for rent. I knew about the bakery. I just didn't know the other spot. The uh, other spot. I think you're the one. You're the. You're. I gonna, am the one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was at a champion meeting when I when I heard what's going on. So good. Good. Uh, a lot of people are going to rave about the bakery. Thanks. And I love that we managed to fit in a drive through too. That's really going to be popular. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't we go ahead and move on to discussion, possible recommendation of ordinance review 13 1 42 and 13 1 140 and 15 4 4. So, these all have to do with accessory buildings, specifications. Uh, Bob Gunther, these were all um, recommendations from Chuck, I'm guessing? No, actually, it's um, we had a, a resident in town asking for uh, a detached garage. And when Tony was going through this, he noticed there was a discrepancy in the size of structure that could be um, erected. So on 13.1-140, um, the item four there, says accessory uses and structures placed in the rear yard of any district shall not occupy more than 20% or not exceed 400 square feet. And then if you go to section 13.1-42, it talks about accessory storage shed not to exceed 150 square feet. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then on 15.4-4, it defines accessory structures in the last sentence there such structures include but should not be limited to porches terraces entry platforms detent or garages sidewalks driveways carports walls fences and miscellaneous sheds well we have ordinance provisions addressing sidewalks driveways walls fences and uh, garages are a part of the structure, so that goes with the building permit. So it reads poorly. Um, so the language should just be corrected on that one. And then the plan commission would just need to decide on 150, or let's see, no accessory building not to exceed 900 square feet. So, so we have a 900 and a 400. So the, the plan commission was basically have to decide what size would be permitted. 900 is 30 by 30. 30 by 30. So it's 400 is 20 by 10. 20 by 20. 20 by 20. 20, yeah, 20 by 20. 20 by 20. That's, so 20 by 20 or 30 by 30. 30 by 30 is pretty good size as far as a garage goes. Yes, a big garage. It's no. That two car and the. Yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to think of anybody that said to have one that's that size. Ours is 25 by 30, I'd say. What is? Okay. And it'd be nice if it was bigger. Oh. <laughs> so I have no problem saying 30 by 30. I, don't, I have no problem saying 900. <clears throat> I, I would like to make a motion to recommend to the Village board, the changes yeah. that presented for ordinance 13 1 442, parent 4. I have one more question. Um, so, a property that had something that was outside of that ordinance that's been there for a number of years that is grandfathered in. Okay, good. Correct. Yep. Okay, so we have three items that 
What was your motion, Mike? To uh, make the changes to ordinance 13 1 4 2 parent 4 as presented to the full village board. And on 15 4 4, is the commission opinion striking porches, terraces, entry platforms, adding the word detached in front of garages, striking sidewalks, driveways, walls, fences? That's, yeah. I believe that's a separate, uh, that's on a separate item, right? Because we're at 13 1 4 2. Yep. Aaron four. Yep. Um, that's defining the assess accessory structures, which um, all of those others are, again, contained in another ordinance fences and sidewalks, driveways. So are we looking at two separate motions? One to get the two um, sections in agreement on the square footage, and then a separate one just to strike that wording, just for the consistency. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so Mike's motion is just for just for the square footage. Square footage. I'm assuming Mike. Correct. And which one are you going with? The uh, thirteen dash one dash four two parent four, where it's got the at 900 square foot written in. So just to clarify, then we would need to change the 13 dash 1 dash 140 B4 because that's the one that says 400 feet. So if we're trying to make if is what your intention is to allow it to be 900 feet, Mike? Correct. But uh, oh, I guess it's all. I was thinking they were under separate line items, but there are ordinance reviews under all three of them under the same. Well, <laughs> yes. So that that it was my that is my recommendation to switch it to nine hundred square feet and change the other one. So leave forty two alone, and switch one forty to match it. Say nine hundred. To say nine hundred, sure. Say nine hundred, correct. Okay, and then are we under under the same recommendation? Are we striking what Bob had? Yeah, are they two separate recommendations or one? Well, let's uh, let's discuss that other one. So on Bob's recommendation for 13 dash, sorry, I'm just 15 dash. 15 dash. 15 dash, all right. 15 dash, four dash, four. Letter D. Letter D. Bob, you wanted to strike porches, mm -hmm. terraces, mm -hmm. entrance platforms. Yes. And this uh and the word detached. detached. I would like to include that in my motion. Perfect. Driveways, striking sidewalks, driveways, keeping carports, striking walls, <laughs> and then keeping miscellaneous sheds. So that would read uh, but should not be limited to Detached garage, carports, and miscellaneous sheds. What kind of miscellaneous sheds? Garden shed, uh, I don't know. White shed, wood so shed, flower shed, something she shed, something that's a shed. Small, a something that doesn't meet the ordinance, ordinance for a building yeah. permit. It's too yeah. small to meet a. It's not attached to the structure. Sure, yeah. That's, you know, a porch is attached, a deck is attached. Yeah. Entries. Okay. Oh, I'm yep. just saying there's many shit yep. out there, so I didn't know if we were specific. And um, yeah. okay. Uh, okay. So I I'll, se I'll second Mike's Thank you, motion as read. Okay. Any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Okay. Discussion. Conditional use permit follow up. So this was again a project we began a couple of months ago. Did you did you did get my follow-ups? Yep. Okay. I did. I just added this on there as a follow-up um because it was tabled from last month. So I didn't know if you guys wanted to discuss progress or plan to go forward. So that's why it's on there for discussion. Any discussion on Butterfield's their stuff? I don't have that one specifically on here. Okay. I just I have it on here with the intent of where you guys are at with the current ones that you have 
received and then a plan going forward if you're ready to do that or if we want to table it till fall. I think we were gonna, we were going to discuss Butterfields you know, after we get through this packet in mm -hmm. Gun Girl Dan. That's what I remember, Kevin. So we want to just we we gave him an okay to go ahead with his yeah yeah okay yeah we gave him to go ahead yeah with the idea that we were going to review his condition use permit down the road correct yeah excellent yes okay so did uh, everybody have a chance to look at these yep. <laughs> no yeah. months ago okay, okay. So, well, first up, we have, um, I guess, what is the, the exact procedure for this? Mm -hmm. Anybody read them off? And... I, I, I personally uh, didn't go through it since our last meeting, and so it's been a while. So if you guys are fine, I'd be fine with tabling it till uh, next month's meeting, and, and then we'll have a, a reminder about it uh, in the next minutes or in the next agenda, if everybody's okay with that. What Mike just said is exactly what I was thinking too. Is yeah, I was pretty adept at all this two months ago, three months ago, but my brain hasn't held it. Well, I, I just want to make sure we do it. Yeah, keep tabling it. So yeah, because let's, let's get started on next month. Because I don't think they're going to take us real long. But I'm okay with waiting until there next month. Yeah, and I I think uh, I think Tasia, if you can put like five or so of them on the agenda, so then we can actually. You know, and put it in uh, in our notes so we can review it beforehand and and speak to the matter uh, as we uh, as we it's fresh in our memories. So okay. From what I remember, the ones that we looked at, almost none of them even apply anymore. They all expired and were done for. There were quite a few that just need to be deleted. Yeah, just need to be deleted. Or a new owner. Yes, that, that's yeah. what I wrote down on on so why that too. They, uh, yeah. I just don't remember which ones, but almost all of them are extinct. Half of half of our pack of this pack of here is exactly. Okay. Right. From ninety-five and ninety-eight. So yeah. yeah. Mike, would it be okay if we had her update us on ten instead of five? Because that's what I thought when I went through the last the first ten was my goodness, this should go very, very quick yeah. because we just say null and void, null and void, null and void to most of them. That that sounds great for me. Okay. I, I think the ones we even discussed are gonna be pretty quick. So I, I did this is what you, you said 10 of them all, isn't it? I didn't count them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure 10. So, that might be 11, but. But, yeah. yeah. Matt is hard. Then I'll make a motion to uh, table it, unless you did, Mike. Um, I will second your motion. <laughs> all right. So we have a first and a second to table to next month. Any further discussion? I have, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Were you able to produce a master list? Still in the works. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So other than that, all in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Well, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I'll second, second the motion. <laughs> I think they've got it. Okay. First and second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Well, thanks, Chris, for uh, chairing the meeting. And hey, my vehicle well. got hit with a softball while we we're out here, so oh. got to go check the damage. We are adjourned at 6.15. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Have a good night. Good night.